Okay, we're heading to Plaza San Miguel from Magdalena del Mar area, which is literally the next neighborhood to the north from where I'm at. I guess technically I could I could walk to the uh, to the boundary of the neighborhood, but I don't know how far it would be to get to the the mall I'm trying to go to. But uh. can't take me directly there because these 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 tuk-tuks whatever they are they're not um they're not permitted to drive anywhere and everywhere so he's gonna bring me to some corner where I have to cross something I don't know but uh it's only charged me something to charge me two solis cheap 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 you guys might have seen um, the other video. Got it. Okay. Got this. Okay, vale. You guys might have seen the other video. Um, I think it's Labum Plaza San Miguel or something. But, uh, this is gonna be the sequel to that. Yeah, but that guy, what I was gonna say is that guy charged me four soles, but he obviously brought me closer to where I am now, I think. Oh, to watch out for this guy. Hey, right. These guys ever let us across. Jeez. What? Hmm. Well. It's gonna be wiser to it. Maybe. I guess I can just wait until it gets all backed up. Here we go. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, guys, let's hit it. Got me a new iPhone. Oh, yeah, that's what I went to uh, Plaza San Miguel for yesterday. However, the ones inside, the cheapest one I've seen was an 11 or like 44,000 or 4,400 or 4,200. Brand new, but I'm assuming it didn't have a uh, a lot of storage because there was one right next to it an 11 as well that was literally uh it was like 1800 2000 more so i bought this xere xere is um xr yeah the xr for uh what did i pay 1400 and 75 with the uh additional fee they charge for a foreign debit card use phone but hey if that was like uh don't hold me to it but uh, i want to say like 320 dollars i'm near four it should uh that hurt that hurt Maybe I should have asked that guy where the plaza was. <laughs> well, good guys. It's a decent neighborhood too, though. <laughs> wow, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna label this Plaza San Miguel because... I'm not anywhere near there. So, I don't know what I'll label this. Barrio San Miguel. This is another one of the neighborhoods that is uh, 
close to the Malacón, which is the cliff that separates the, the highway and the ocean. But if you didn't know, on the Malacón, every couple blocks, uh, half a mile or so, there are uh, there's always a pedestrian path that you can take down off the cliff and go over the road and brings you directly to the to the beach. You can you can use that bridge for um, bikes, scooters, or your feet. No motorized vehicles. There you go. Check it out. Vendo tres dormitorios. I'm selling three bedroom and cochera cochera. Uh, garage, or a garage specifically for a car. So there's a number to get a hold of them. Or duplex for sale in Terraza, the, the, the patio up front, up top. And directio, dire, trato directo. Those are gonna be the cheapest. Obviously, you're gonna direct the deal straight to the buyer. And if you uh, ever want to come check stuff out like that, or I mean, uh, contact the the, the uh, owners prior, and you do not know Spanish, and you feel uncomfortable, or you think they might trying to rip you off, etc. What you can do is download WhatsApp, which is what everybody in South America uses, and. Uh, I think we need to go with it. And then um, use Google Translate. Type out your message, copy, paste, translate it, send them the message, ask them how much it is. So, they're gonna, so you, just so you know, if you feel more comfortable. As far as I'm concerned, as, as far as, I know the only time I've ever been given, had been given uh, various prices based on how I look or sound is in uh, it's parts of Medellin, Colombia, where there isn't uh, basically like stands or where people are selling stuff anywhere that there isn't prices posted they'll give you a different price. Hey, they try to rip their own people off too, so it ain't just, oh, cause you're a gringo, this and that, or you're a foreigner. No, it is scandalous. Whack. There's been a few times here, I, uh, I gave people too much money and they're like, no, 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 here, you gave me too much, here, give it back to me. However, I do believe I was recently ripped off and played. Um, I went to go do tattoo removal, which I had been doing in the United States, uh, $135 a session, you know, very powerful, good, good. I had one done in Medellin, and then I had one done here, and they charged me over, granted they did a little bit more than what the states were doing as far as surface area of the tattoo, but they charged me like, like 390 or 400 dollars man they didn't they didn't take sneezing it off i was so disappointed lesson learned i guess but uh, she, their places weren't fixed either you had to do a pay for a consultation and then pay for the it was just ridiculous guys whack i've had two bad experiences with the tattoo removal here and in Colombia, which makes me really question how good the other ser medical services are. If you want to consider tattoo removal medical service, but. And might I add, where I get tattoo laser removal done in the United States, it's in a little tiny town called Austin, Minnesota, which is a spec a speck of a dot on a map. I don't even, I don't even think they got 20,000 people there. 
and their equipment and their services they provide far exceed anything in Lima. Well, I can't say anything in Lima, but that place that I went to and then the, uh, the big, I forget the name of it, but the one in Medellin. I really think they just pull these, when they give you a quote, I don't know if the same quote applies for everybody, but I don't know, I think they just pulled these numbers out of the air. And guys, those right there. Oh yeah, so I, and they're 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 big businesses, so it's like I don't I don't feel that when you go pay with a card or whatever, a cash money, that whatever price they give you, like they're gonna get a percentage of that. I'm pretty sure they're they're either salary or hourly base, so. Uh, I don't really see why they would they would charge more just because you're a foreigner um, but could be or maybe that look at these churros or it could be that they have so few tattoo removal places in comparison to the the, the, the population or the, the amount of people that live in the city that that their services are more valuable. I don't know. The United States got them things everywhere. Okay, guys. This kind of a uh, boring walk. Jeez. Well, now you guys know about tattoo removal service. Yeah. Oh, at those places too, they they do um, they like remove scars or blemishes, moles, freckles. Or tighten up your face, I guess. I don't know. I don't believe none of them. Okay, guys. I feel like I've been over here before. Oh, this sucks. This really sucks. Probably gonna have to jump in another taxi, man. Bueno, disculpe. ¿Sabes dónde dónde está la la plaza de San Miguel? La San Miguel. Ajá. Te conviene mira más rápido llegas a la marina acá uh -huh. y tomas para la derecha. A la derecha. Oh, okay, okay, gracias, bro. Okay, guys. Y acá también. Well, probably walked like I don't know, a long ways. Long ways in the wrong direction. Because I can see my neighborhood's church from right here. I took a taxi back to the house from where this driver just picked me up. So he picked me up. My plaza son me and brought me home. I took like 45 minutes in the car. I think, I think walking would have been quicker, but I didn't, I didn't know where I, where I was at. Someone's, someone's whistling. Oh. Okay guys, you've seen the sidewalk once. 
I'm a cut the video off.